All right, guys, welcome back to ATM lin Linear Unit Review. This will be page three. This will require you to have a calculator. If you have not downloaded one on your computer, please do so. If you need help, come see me. Um, otherwise, you can use your TI-84. All right, let's look at number 13. You've been, on a six, you've been on six flights in the past year. I want to know if there's a model that would predict the cost of any flight based on its distance. So basically, we're looking for a best line of fit. The six flights distances and costs were as followed. 225 miles for $55.60. 525 miles for $67.80. 800 miles for $126. There should be a decimal here. Excuse me. 1,100 miles. Maybe we should take away that comma. For $107. Let's take away that comma. Okay. Uh, 1,950 miles for 219 and 2,250 miles for 195. We're going to take away the commas, otherwise it looks kind of too many commas. All right. First of all, it says create a scatter plot of the flight based on cost and distance. Well, let's take a look. And if you have a table, that might help you a lot. So you can always create a table using a T-chart. So I'm going to put miles here, and I'm going to put cost right here. 225 miles for $55.60, and that's going to be a dollar unit. 525 miles for $67.80. This will make it so much easier for you typing your calculator. Uh, 800 miles for $126. 1,100 miles for $107. Interesting. 1950 miles for 219 and 2250 miles for 195. Must be depending on when you fly and where you're flying to. All right, then it says to create a scatter plot. Okay, now I have numbers down here for you, but you don't have to use those numbers. Just a thought. And I have numbers here for you, and you don't have to use those numbers. Okay, so let's take a look. You've been on six flights, the miles and the cost, okay? Alrighty, let's give it a name. Fly like a bird, I guess. That'll work. You can call it anything you want, as long as it somehow relates to this, okay? Alrighty, I'm gonna make my miles my x value. My lowest miles is 225, and my highest is 2,250. So, Obviously, the cost isn't, isn't affecting the mile. Yeah, that'll work. That'll be just fine. We're just creating a scatter plot. Create a scatter plot of the flight based on cost and distance. Okay, so here's your miles. Uh, my lowest one is 225. My highest is 2,250. So what if we made this 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000? Okay. <coughs> So we're going to increase it by 400, 1400. There we go. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 14. You can't see it, so I'm going just to write over it. 2000, 2200, 2000. 400, all right, okay, next part. Now, my lowest value is $55.60, and my highest is 200, so maybe I want to change these numbers. Maybe I should have done that. That would have been so much cleaner, wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, I might need to do that. I'm, I'll go back and do that one, so it'll look so much better. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. So let's go ahead and start this one at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220. I think we're good. And this will be our cost in dollar. All right, let's go ahead and plot our points. At 225, 
It is $55.60, so somewhere right here. Sounds good. At $525, about right here, it's $67, almost $70. That'll be good. At $800, which is right here, be $126. So that's $100, $120, $130, so maybe around there. Okay. At $1,100, be right here, it is $107. Too high, there's $100, $110, so probably about right there. What was it, $111? Oops, that's this one. I didn't go far enough, that's $1,000. Let me get rid of that. Okay, there we go. At $1,950, which is almost $2,000, this is $1,150, about right here, is $219. This is 200, 219, so it'll be about right there. I don't know why I have an extra mark. Let me get rid of it. Okay. This might be why I like to you to do your work in pencil. <coughs> 2,250, so about right here, and it'd be about 195. That's 200, 190, so about right here. That'll work. <coughs> All right. So, there is my uh, scatter plot, okay? Now it says, give the linear regression line and graph it with the scatter plot. So, let's go ahead and find our stuff. Before you do, here are some steps to help you, okay? When you turn it on, make sure you turn on your diagnostics. So, how do you turn it on? Go to mode, scroll down. You see where your stat diagnostic, right there, it must be on, okay? If it's not, highlight on and push enter. To get out, just hit second quit. Next thing, the, uh, the mode diagnostic gives you this. It gives you the R, which is your correlation coefficient. The closer you are to negative one or one, the closer you are to 100%. The closer you are to zero, 0%. At 100%, you're going to touch most of the points. All the points, actually. At 90%, you're going to touch most of it. At 0, the graph is not going to be as good. You might want to use a different regression, but we're going to stick with linear for right now. Okay. Next, you need to turn on your stat plot. What does the stat plot do? Well, the stat plot is going to use the data you give, and when you hit zoom stat, it's going to plot those points for you many different ways, all right? So to do that, here's your stat plot. Hit second, stat plot. Mine is off, so we're gonna hit, go ahead and turn it on. You see now it's highlighted. We want the scatter plot. X is gonna be your L1, which is your miles, okay? Y is gonna be your L2, which is your cost. All righty, <coughs> now the marker here, I like to use the, the square. You can use whichever one you want. I don't use the dot as much because I can't see, but I'm old, so. All right, now to enter your data. This is what you do. This is the reason I have it written as a table because it will make it a lot easier for you to enter your data. Here we go. All right, hit stat, okay? You see where it says edit, hit enter. Right now I have data in there that is not mine um, that I'm gonna use here. So all you have to do is highlight L2, do not hit delete, hit clear. But if you accidentally hit delete, do you see how you just got rid of L2 column? Not a big deal. If you do that, you need to reset this by hitting stat. See where it says setup uh, editor? Hit number five, okay? Hit enter and done. And it will bring this L2 back. So if you accidentally do that, that's okay. Just go back and fix it. But L2, hit clear. Enter, and it will clear everything in that column. If you just hit clear, it's just going to get rid of one at a time, okay? Or you can delete like that. See how you just did that? But I just like to clear the whole thing. So, all right. Also, another thing that you need to know about the calculator is this. Say you forgot a number. See how I forgot a 7? See where it says INS right there? Instead of typing in this whole thing, you can hit second, insert and zero will come up and you can hit seven and enter. And you can insert it that way. 
or you want to get rid of a certain number because you accidentally have there had it on twice just hit delete and it'll get rid of it okay so but I'm going to get rid of the whole column uh, all the data under it so I'm just going to hit it clear and enter that's just knowing your calculator guys all right L1 225 525 800 1100, 1950, 2250. For every X, you must have a Y. $55.60, 67.8, 126, $107, 219, 195. All right, check your numbers. For every X, you must have a Y. If one of these numbers is wrong, say for example, this one right here. You see how you forgot one? I went through the list and I forgot 107. Second insert. And you could just insert it just like so. <coughs> Alrighty. Now it says, give the linear regression line. Well, you have enter your data under edit. Go to stat, and we're going to calculate. You can use number 4 or number 8. I like 4 because it looks like MX plus B. And that's what I like. Hit enter, enter, enter. When you get to here, okay, I want you to store that. For right now, See how my L1 is? I'm going to clear it. There is nothing under L1. But when you go to store regression, I'm telling it where I want to store it. And the reason I want to do that is I don't want to write down all my numbers. If you'll hit alpha trace, I'm going to store mine in L1. You really can store in any one of those. Push enter. See that? And then it's going to calculate. All right, here's your linear regression line. Let me show you how to write it. must have an equal, y equal, your a. Please go to three decimal places. Go through thousands place. 0 0.079x. See, I just replaced my a with that. Plus your b. What's your b? 38.769. Three decimal places. Thousands place. Thousands has three zeros. Okay? Next part. It says... Give the correlation coefficient. Your correlation coefficient is not the R squared, but the R. And it is at 0 0.948, or 94.8%. That means I am going to, when I draw a line, I'm going to hit about 94, 95% of my points. Not all, but some, okay? Most of it. All right, so there you have your equation. So regression is just your equation, and your R is how many? of those possible points you're going to hit. Now it says, what do you expect a 3,000 mile flight to cost? There's many different ways you can do it. But I do want to show you, if you hit zoom, scroll down to 9, or zoom 9, those are all the points that you have plotted. Okay? Watch. If you hit trace, 225, 55.6. That point is 525, 67.7. .7. See how you kind of check your graph? Does your graph look kind of like that? See that? Those are all your points. This is your best line of fit. Now, I want to see where it is at zero so I can kind of have an idea, okay? If you hit second table, your zero is at 38.769. Zero and right here. That kind of gives me an idea how to graph my line. Grab your ruler. At least you have a correct starting point, And just kind of graph in between them just like your calculator. And there's your best line of fit right there. And that point right there is at 0, 038.769. That's that point. Right? Just get an idea. So my graph looks kind of like it. There you go. All right. What, to, what do you expect a 3,000 mile flight to cost? Well, a 3,000 mile flight is your x. So I'm going to do this one down here, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it on paper, and then I'll show you how to do it on a calculator. So your x is at 3,000. I think the pen's about to die. Alrighty, here we go. You got your equation. y equals 0 0.079 times 3,000 plus 38.769. And you can just type that into your calculator. Okay, so just like 0 0.079 times 3,000 
plus 38.769 comes out to be $275.77. Oh, Dollars only has two decimal places for your cents. There you go. Another way you could have done it is when you guys have that graph, look at your window. Your window only goes to 2,452, right? And your X is at what? Your X is at 3,000. Change it to 3,500, okay? You can also change your little tick marks into 1,000 because I don't like mine to show. And it just kind of moves your graph over. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. See that? If you hit second calc, value is your X, and you can just type in 3,000. Notice how close you are, okay? Either one would be fine. And the reason it's off a little bit is because of my rounding. That just has to do with your rounding. $274.30. This is according to the graph, which is better than this one right here because I have rounded right here. Okay? Alrighty. Second part. What do you expect a 500 mile flight to cost? Same thing. So your X is at 500. Y equals 0 0.079 times 500 plus 38.769. And you can do it either way. So I'll do both just to show you. 0 0.079 times 500 plus 38.769 comes out to be $78.30. 27 cents. Huh, let me get my rounding to work here. 27 cents. There you go. But if you did the calculator way, let's look at our window. Our window starts at 22, so we can put 500 there. Second calc value 500, $78.02. Don't forget your units. Put that dollar sign on there. Okay. All right. Next one. If your friend spent 183, 183 dollars, how far do you expect for him to travel? Well, let's take a look. 183 is a dollar amount. That's your y value. So 183 equals 0 0.079. I want to know how far, so I'm going to keep my x, and you can just solve for x. Okay. So minus 38.769. 183 minus 38.769 comes out to be 144.231 equals 0 0.079x. Divide. What you do to one, you do to the other. Okay. 0.079. So x comes out to be 1,825.71 miles. Correct unit, please. Okay? So, not a dollar. 1825.71 miles. Now, if you had done it using the calculator, here's your graph, check your window. Your X is at 183. You see how it's between 27 and 248? You don't have to change the window. That's your Y. Okay? So, what you can do is go to Y2, scroll down, and type in 183 and you can graph. That intersection right there will tell you how much it's going to be. So you can go second calc, intersection, left, always use left and right, not up and down, okay? Enter, first curve. Second curve must be to the right. See how I have first curve and left curve, second curve? It says, according to the calculator, it's 1,837.13 miles. Very close, off just a tad, depending if you use the calculator or this. And if you use this one, the rounding makes a little bit of a difference. This one is more precise than my calculation right here. But you can do it either way. Okay? Good luck.